Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is the moment that we have all been waiting for. Battlefield 5 Open Beta. So, uh, I, unlike some people, I did not pre-order this game, so I have to wait until September the 6th to gain access to the Open Beta. So, let's check it out. We got Armory, our company, uh, which tracks our progress, our leveling up on all the classes, vehicle classes, uh, as, as well as aircraft. For the Armory, it shows uh, weapons we can purchase at a certain level. Uh, I just started playing last night, so I'm still pretty new to this. Okay, so let's go through the assault class. What weapon is available to this class? So we first start off with the uh, STG-44. Uh, I believe the formal name is Sturmgewehr. Sturmgewehr, 44. Uh, introduced in 1944, it's the world's first mass-produced assault rifle. It does resemble to the uh, HNK G3 and the MP5. I believe their design was uh, derived from this weapon. Funny fact is that when they first designed this weapon, uh, it was it was a uh, Denied, the proposal was denied by uh, you know the supreme leader, uh, the Führer of the Nazi Germany. Then they have to change the project name to hide it, keep it under the radar. And when they finally made a prototype, they show it to the higher ups, and they liked it, so they gave the green light for mass production. Uh, accuracy is pretty accurate. Damage, decent, hip fire. Uh, I don't know what that means, this status bar, whether it's good or bad. Control is de decent, uh, available in semi and full auto, uh, 31 round. Uh, it's only available for assault. Then we got the Gewer 43. It's, I believe it's uh, the first mass-produced semi-automatic uh, battle rifle for the Nazi Germany for the SS and the Wehrmacht holds 10 round uh, only available in single fire then we got the M1A1 carbine uh, it's an American uh, carbine rifle I believe it shoots a 45 caliber uh, a pistol round but with a longer barrel so higher muscle velocity and range and which in turn uh, increased accuracy so from this judging from the profile the icon and the weapon here it seems to be this is a M1A1 carbine for, uh, for the para version the paratrooper variant for the of the M1A1 carbine the folding stock here and the pistol grip okay Hold 16 rounds. Actually, I believe it's 15 rounds in the magazine plus one in the chamber. Then we got the Turner SMLE. This look a hell of a lot of like the uh, British Lee Enfield. The number four rifle. So the SM, yeah, it it is the uh, the infield. So SMLE stands for sh uh, short magazine the infield. Pretty straightforward. Uh, magazine holds ten rounds, unlike the Mauser or the Springfield or the Arisaka. Uh, it holds uh, ten rounds, or the Moisen Nagant. It holds ten rounds instead of five rounds, uh, which increases the continuity of fire uh, 
uh, should be a 762 or seven, somewhere around 762 around uh, full full length cartridge. Okay, we now go to medic. The basic, uh, oh, I would say the first available weapon for the medic class is the stand gun. The stand gun is a uh, sub machine gun available for British troops during World War II back when the British uh, has have to run with their tails between their legs in Dunkirk they lost all their uh, equipment so in order to replenish their armament uh, in a quickly uh, manner with a uh, limited material they have they have uh, come up with the idea of this weapon well a simple manufacturer with uh, least material required and least uh, production uh, steps required as well magazine holds 32 rounds magazine magazine comes uh, sideways which can be used as a foregrip as well uh, got a looks like a folding stock uh, pretty lightweight uh, usually seen used by uh, commandos. Okay, and this one, Swarm KP thirty one. I have no idea where this, this, which country of origin this is coming from. Oh, actually, it's a Finnish uh, summer machine gun. So it turns out, uh, besides making Nokia's or uh, outdated cell phones or cell phones that wouldn't die they are pretty good at uh, making weapons as well magazine holds uh, 20 rounds pretty high rate of fire 770 rounds compared to the Stangan's uh, 539 rounds per minute then we got the EMP The EMP is a German machine pistol. Uh, 32 rounds sideways. Has a metal front grip. Uh, not pretty high rate of fire. And then we come to a later model of, of uh, German submachine gun during World War II, the MP40. 32 rounds in the mag. Uh, Moderate the rate of fire, 539. These are uh, submachine guns uh, available only to the medics. Then we got support. We got the KE7. Sounds like uh, Finnish or Swedish uh, light machine gun. So these. So the KE-7 is actually manufactured by uh, SIG, S-I-G, uh, the same company that managed uh, then joined or, you know, got taken over or joint venture with uh, Sauer, uh, Six Hour. Uh, 25 round in the mag, 569 rate of fire. The Brent gun, uh, the Brent gun is a British infantry light machine gun. I believe it originates from Czechoslovakia, if I'm correct. Yes, uh, the place of origin for the Bren light machine gun is from uh, Czechoslovakia. Uh, the magazine is being fed from the top. The sight is a little bit slightly offset to the left. Uh, it comes with a bipod and a handle. Magazine f feeds uh, 30 rounds, uh, 514 rounds per minute, slightly sl at a sl slightly slower rate of fire. Then we come to the FG42. The FG42 is for the uh, German Fallschirmjägers or the German paratroopers. I believe uh, before 
they come up with this weapon, they are look they were looking for a weapon that had the rate of fire of the MG42, but it's uh, individually soldier. Uh, it's portable by individual soldiers, so they come up with this uh, weapon. If you look at the icon, it for me it resembles the M60 uh, machine gun used by uh, the American forces in Vietnam. Magazine holds 20 rounds, slightly higher rate of fire of uh, 670 rounds. It shoots a uh, standard cartridge, same as the uh, Car 98 Mauser uh, bolt action rifle. Then this comes up. I have no idea why is it for uh, the engineer row, uh, M30 drilling shotgun. Double barrel shotgun, holds two rounds, single fire. Okay, recon got the Lee Enfield uh, number four rifle with the scope. CH CH29. Um uh, my bet is uh, Yugoslavian. No, actually it's uh, Czechoslovakian uh, weapon. Then we got the Mauser with a sniper scope. Okay. Me uh, melee weapons hatchet, aka axe, a club, a shuffle, pickaxe, curry. Uh, I think this is a dagger used by the Gurkhas. See the blade instead of bending backwards it's actually bent forwards uh, belief is to improve the um, the slicing power when they try to hack someone with it uh, we got the British Army jackknife uh, is it a switch plate looks like it looks like a switch army knife So let's check out the handguns. P38 uh, pistol made by Walther. The P38 uh, it's a standard uh, sidearm for officers. Then we got the Ruby. Ruby looks like. Okay, let's see if I can read out the. Uh, Engraving on the gun up here. Mm, no, actually. So the Ruby handgun is a French handgun. Holds 10 rounds compared to 9 rounds in the uh, Walther P38. Okay, so bear in mind this is just the beta, so we have limited access to all the contents. So these are just a few weapons we can get hold of in the game. Uh, content is subject to change because it's still in beta. So let's check out the vehicles. For the Allied Forces, we got the 3 inch gun carrier. Uh, the 3 inch gun is about 76mm gun, fitted in a box shaped uh, non traversable turret in, on the Churchill. I believe this is a, a surface a assault tank, infantry assault tank for the British uh, land forces. Then we got the Br Churchill Mark 7. Churchill Mark 7 features a 75 gun and it's traversable turret. Uh, in War Thunder, it's pretty crap against uh, tanks of its uh, tier, i.e., Tiger 1s and Panthers. 
but I would say it's uh, ex exceptional against uh, Tiger, f I mean Panzer 3 and 4, with that 75 gun. Oh, actually, you can actually rotate the point of view. Okay. So we got the uh, 75 millimeter gun here, coax, and a whole gunner. Driver sits here with the uh, portal and periscope. Speed limit is 40, but I doubt it can reach 20. So now we got the Valentine. Valentine is a early war tank, and what on earth is below him? Hang on. Hmm. Uh. I think there's a glitch here. I'm looking at a big caliber gun. Looks like a 14mm Bofors hanging underneath the hull of the Valentine. The f this Valentine should features a should be featuring a 2-inch gun, maybe a rather a rather small caliber uh, gun for infantry support role. For Axis Forces, we got the Panzer IV. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is accurate, but I've been playing in a few matches so far. They are all, all early version of the Panzer IV, so, which is the 75 uh, short barrel assault gun instead of the uh, 75mm uh, long barrel anti-tank gun. So this look a lot of like the tank in Girls and Panzer. Yes, it is. Where the protagonist used it. Uh, at first, it's a short barrel. Then they upgraded it into a long barrel gun. 75 millimeter gun, uh, MG 34 hull hull gun and coax. And then we come to the crown jewel of the. Of every German uh, armor fanboy, the Tiger One, 88 millimeter anti-tank gun, uh, about 100 meter front armor, MG34 coax and hull gun. And there's one tank missing. I've seen it in in the game, which is the Brumbar. The Brumbar is a heavy, heavy, heavy assault gun mounted on a Tiger One chassis. Uh, it's mounted on a non-traversable turret. Uh, the gun is 30, 300 millimeter big. I mean the caliber. And the projectile is assist by. Uh, is a rocket propel uh, projectile. It's not a gun. I believe it's a mortar mounted on the front bar. Okay, so let's go to airplanes. We got Spit Spitfire Mark 5A uh, with uh, six 7.62 millimeter machine guns. This is the early version of the Spitfire family. The Spitfire family ranges from Mark 1 all the way to Mark 24, whereas uh, starting from Mark 22 to Mark 24, they are recognized as uh, Griffin Spitfires because with the Griffin engine, uh, it they feature a significant uh, change in their appearance with a teardrop uh, canopy, so pilots have a better sight of what's behind them. Uh, so back to the Spitfire Mark 5A, we got a single uh, radiator mounted underneath the wing uh, and the signature awful shape uh, wing. Spitfire Mark 5B has a twin 20mm um, auto cannon mounted each mounted on mounted on each uh, one on each uh, wing with two other actually one other 7.62 machine gun on each wing we got the Blenheim 
Mark One F, which is a bomber or attacker for the British uh, Royal Air Force. Okay, uh, for the Excess Forces, BF One O Nine G Two, uh, with a nose-mounted cannon and two other machine gun mounted at the nose as well. Got a Stuger B1 mounted with just machine guns. This is a uh, dive bomber. Uh, we got the two propellers to generate the siren noise when it's in a dive attack mode. Then we got Stuger B2. I don't see the difference with it. So this is it. That's the overview of the game. And I believe the game has just crashed. That is something uh, EA needs to work on.